Are you ready for day eight of my Delightful Detox 21 days of high energy, lots of joy, lots of positivity, unlike many uncomfortable detox programs, mine is unique and far better because we are doing detoxification of your whole mind and body and moving forward to a pure and delightful life. And this is not just a little program you go on for 21 days, this is a new lifestyle. And that's why I take you through, gently through, 21 days where we dig deeper and deeper in cleaning out your mind and body of toxic stuff and bringing in wonderful, good stuff. Thank you for joining me, I'm Janet McKee wellness expert, speaker, author, certified high performance success coach, teaching you how to live a more successful life. And that's a life that's richer, happier, healthier, and more fulfilling. And that's why as founder of Son of You, we call it embrace a better life. All aspects of your life. And that is what we teach, especially in our high performance program. The most successful people in the world work on all aspects of their lives. We are recording live here for you on Facebook while we record our formal program on our official camera that's right behind here. So thank you for joining me today. And yesterday we celebrated because we reached day seven. We did a whole week of wonderful detoxification and we celebrated with wonderful, delicious desserts because we talked about detoxing from sugar. So now that you're all happy and you're loving this program and you're in love with me, now you're not gonna love me anymore. I am gonna talk to you about cutting the caffeine as part of the detox program. Now don't worry, don't panic. We're not gonna put Starbucks out of business. We are just gonna go through a program here to give your body an opportunity to reset. I said at the very beginning, it's kind of like hitting the reset button, right? On your computer or your GFI outlet in your kitchen. We need an opportunity to give your body a very strong, solid foundation of good health and high energy. And what happens is in society, we completely deplete our adrenal glands. We stay up late watching the news, which I already told you detox from the news. <laughs> and we go to bed exhausted. Our alarms jolt us out of bed. We start a very stressful day. We don't give ourselves proper nutrition. And then because we feel depleted, we reach for stimulants to try to give us this artificial sort of stimulation to keep us going. And think about it like withdrawing from the bank account. If you keep withdrawing and withdrawing and withdrawing and you never put something back in, what's gonna happen, okay? That's what we're doing. We keep depleting and depleting our adrenal glands until someday there's nothing left. And we wonder why as we get older, especially, we feel we have no energy and we feel unhappy and sad and depressed and miserable. We don't feel miserable here at Son. We're all about feeling fabulous. And that's what I'm teaching you. I'm teaching you to feel fabulous. Absolutely. Hi, Ollie. I see you on there. <laughs> Thank you for joining. So we're about feeling fabulous. And how do you do that? Okay, so think about this. So many people rely on coffee and they rely on that coffee all day. And worse yet, they also add sugar and cream to that coffee. I, and the reason why I'm telling you about this is I just had a client come to me last week. He's a doctor and had reached a point in his life that he could no longer function because of extreme fatigue. He had completely withdrew everything from his adrenal bank account. <laughs> he was living on Coke and Pepsi to get through every day. And 
not just like coffee, those are stimulants. And not only are they loaded with really unhealthy ingredients, the caffeine and the, stim the, the stimulant that we're taking into our body is drawing, drawing, drawing from that bank account until crash. And maybe you haven't reached that point in your life where you have extreme fatigue, but I don't want you to get there. And also, it's exciting maybe once in a while to go to the amusement park and ride on a roller coaster, but I call this biological roller coaster <laughs> is what we're living in. We're exhausted, so we get sugar and caffeine, and we get high, and then we crash. And then because we're crashing, we reach for more sugar and caffeine to get high again, and then we crash. Does that sound healthy to you? <laughs> again, that might be fun and exciting now and then, but this is no way to treat your body and your mind long-term to really feel fabulous every day of your life. So what happens, and again, just bear with me here, if we could just consider during the remaining portion of this detox program, this is day eight and we're going to day 21, to consider walking away from caffeine and these other stimulants just to allow our body to reset. I'm not saying you have to give it up forever, but if we give our, oppor our body opportunity to reset, then when we go back to having a little bit of something that we enjoy, that has a stimulant in it, then it really does sort of affect us more, we perk up more, and then we need less of it. Does that make sense? How many of you used to drink a cup of coffee and then you gradually went to two cups of coffee and then to four and then to six and then eight, but now you like rely on eight cups of coffee a day just to keep going? It's because you've become so used to that and your body is needing it so much more. And I tell you this today because just yesterday I was showing you how to do hot cocoa and chocolate ice cream and that was our celebration day right before wham. <laughs> I'm going to tell you that also chocolate and cocoa also has a stimulant in it called theobromine that could be depleting you, your adrenals, if you're overdoing it. If you're not ready to give up caffeine today, I want you to give something a try. Instead of having coffee, try a hot cocoa, like I showed you yesterday. And again, we sweeten it with stevia, not a simple sugar. And see how you feel later in the day with that hot cocoa versus the coffee. I notice personally that when I have coffee, and I like coffee now and then, it's maybe a treat on a special occasion, I notice I feel yucky later in the day. I feel irritable and my energy is depleted. I notice for me personally, if I do a hot cocoa, just one, I don't do like 50, just one, I feel supported more. I feel energized, I have a lot of great clear thinking, but I don't feel depleted later in the day. And that's something I want you to play around with and consider because I want you to feel your best. And so see what works for you and see what doesn't. But definitely there are other things to think about when we take in this caffeine jolt, it causes our cortisol levels to go up. And what happens there is that can affect our rates of, increase our rates of disease and inflammation. It increases belly fat, which also increases rates of diabetes and other concerns. It, this constant like spike of our cortisol level, which is our stress hormone, can suppress our immune system long-term. Also, this ongoing jolt of not only caffeine, but this cortisol level that's increasing can affect our sleep quality. And really key for this detox program is to get good quality sleep because that's when your body detoxifies. And also, that is when you heal and rejuvenate, which is why we call this a rejuvenation of your mind and body. We want you to feel great. It's not just about detoxifying, it's about feeling your best. Coffee, just so you know, you guys are gonna be so upset with me, <laughs> but let's think of a few things. First of all, to have a really healthy body. We need your body to be more alkaline, the pH of your body to be alkaline, not acidic. And I speak a lot about this at saunabue.com, about eating healthy so that your body is more 
alkaline and that includes eating a lot of colorful fruits and vegetables especially green leafy vegetables because they help your body be alkaline but there are certain things that cause our body to be more acidic and that opens us up to a lot of health challenges and illnesses so the one of the you know various things can cause our body to be acidic including stress and eating too much animal protein and junk food and processed food and all of that but so is coffee coffee is acid forming for the ph of your body and so what happens is your body works really hard to balance the ph and it does that by drawing minerals from your bones to help bring you back to that alkaline state so this is a concern my other concern with all the coffee that everyone is drinking is that beans are heavily sprayed with pesticides and herbicides so when we do coffee i get organic and the final thing is are you ready for this and this is part of the detoxification program i already told you to pay attention to not putting chemicals in your body and on your body and clean your home more naturally well the other thing i want to teach you is you don't want to heat things in plastic and you don't want to put things in a microwave in plastic because these are endocrine disruptors that are in the plastic and when you heat food and liquid in that it gets into the food and liquid and it just so happens that most of our coffee pots that we have in our homes drip the hot water and the coffee through a plastic container I, I know you're gonna think I'm fanatic. I'm sorry. I just want you to be aware of these things because I want you to feel good and be happy. And if we're trying to detoxify our bodies and give our bodies every chance to be healthy and energized, you just need to be aware of our exposure to heat, heated foods and drinks on plastic. I actually, now and then, with a special occasion at my home, I will serve some coffee and I'm doing it out of this cappuccino maker where everything is metal. And recently I went to the store because it's very hard to find a coffee pot that doesn't have plastic as part of the components. But I'm now seeing that there are these traditional percolators that are all metal, stainless steel. And I plan to get one for my home for when I'm having guests here and we want to have coffee and not just cappuccino. So there are ways to do this. But again, during this detox program, the idea here is we just want to clean out. We want to reset. We want to give our adrenal glands a chance to rebuild. And how do we rebuild our adrenal glands? Rest, manage stress, hydration, but good nutrition. We want to eat all of these colorful fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds, whole grains, beans and peas, lots of good plant foods to nourish those adrenal glands. Because it just so happens that one of the doctors that I read the work of and do some work with said that when we do too much animal protein, we actually can deplete our adrenal glands too. And again, we're just trying to reset here. You don't have to do that forever, but just reset. And again, I already spoke to you about the benefits of plant foods and helping our detoxification organs, such as our liver, kidneys, gallbladder, spleen, and so forth. Okay, there are so many things that you can do to energize your mind and body instead of reaching for a cup of coffee, Pepsi or Coke or whatever. So many things. You're sitting at your desk or doing whatever and you're starting to feel tired or you're driving in the car. Maybe you do that for work and you start to feel tired. So the first thing you think is, I need a cup of coffee. Before you rush to a cup of coffee, try these things and we teach a lot about this in our high performance coaching program because we want you to have high energy clear thinking so you can be highly productive to live a successful life and put you in a situation where you have good moods and emotions so when you feel like you're going to reach for a cup of coffee i want you to first stand up move around stretch deep breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Maybe bounce around a little, okay? Move your body, put on some music, dance around, get outside, go for a walk, do whatever you can, do some stretching. We teach in the High Performance Coaching Program how to do some Qigong, it's called, where you bend over and you pat all different parts of your body and it gets all that energy moving and recirculating. I want you, before you grab a cup of coffee, to grab a glass of water. 
often when we feel depleted and low energy, we're dehydrated. So get a nice glass of water. You need oxygen. You're going to breathe. You're going to move to boost your circulation. We're going to get hydrated and see how you feel. I want you to consider if you're doing something for a certain period of time, time yourself and in 50 minutes, five zero, put the timer on and stop. And give yourself every hour a few minutes to re-energize. You do that through the day, by the end of the day, you're gonna to continue to feel better and better as the day goes on instead of depleted. I've already spoken to you about your morning routine and what to do in the morning to put yourself in a situation where you have the most fabulous day. And I spoke to you about considering juicing. And I've even given to you our video, my son and I did, teaching you all about fresh vegetable juicing. This is something that's going to energize you. It tastes delicious. Trust me, I know it looks weird for many of you. Delicious. And it nourishes your adrenal glands. And it, it's so healing for your body. I teach you all about that in our juicing video. This is what I want you to do for energy. You can juice yourself, which we teach you how to do it. You can go anymore today, at least in this country. You can go to the local grocery stores and to the health food stores and they have fresh, organic, cold-pressed juices, not the juices on the dry shelf, refrigerated, cold-pressed. You can even go to local juice bars. They're popping up everywhere because everybody is seeing the benefits of this, and this happens to be from Pittsburgh Juice Company, which I love. The juices are so delicious. This is what you do. Mm. Yeah, instead of coffee and caffeine. Trust me, I know you think this is crazy and this is wild and this is like insane and Jan is a fanatic. I'm not. I want you to try these things. Give them a chance. The other thing you can do is when you watch our breakfast videos, which I've given to you, there's superfood smoothie video. And in that video, I had all kinds of great nutrients that really give you good healthy proteins and great minerals for your body. But there's also in there something called maca. And maca is an interesting ingredient, which I teach you about in that video. You can take a look at that. That also really nourishes your adrenals. Okay, what we are doing here is instead of reaching for the coffee, the Pepsi, or the Coke, the, the caffeine that boosts you up like on toothpicks and then you crash, or you're on a roller coaster all day, which is no way to live, unless you're at the amusement park, we are building a foundation of cinder blocks, a solid foundation to get you on the path of healthier, more vibrant living. Why do I share this with you? Why is Janet so passionate about this? Because I am. I am passionate about you living your best life. This is simple. Don't be afraid. Again, just try to walk away from the caffeine during these next few weeks as we finalize our 21 day delightful detox program. And trust me, see how you feel. You might not feel good at first. You might want to start on the weekend because you might de be detoxifying from all of this and everything needs to reset. But once you do, and you actually are building the pure energy that is inherent within a healthy body, life becomes amazing. Thank you for joining me. Janet McKee, wellness expert, speaker, author, high performance success coach, who wants the best life for you. I love you and have a wonderful day. Take care.